Hello and welcome. I am the Code Whisperer. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a Node.js application in its entirety. This application is going to have Express, jQuery, Node.js, all that stuff. There's a lot I want to cover, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to need in order to code along with me is Node.js installed on your computer. So if you don't already have it, go ahead and download it right now at Node.js.org. Just click the big green link and you'll be just fine. All right, got Node installed? Good. Here I am inside my text editor. I'm using brackets, but you can use whatever editor you want. I've made a folder and I called it a Node.js application. It's empty right now. Now I'm going to open up a terminal window so that it's open up in this folder I'm working on in my text editor. With me so far? Good. Now your terminal might look a little bit different than mine, but what's important is that you have Node.js installed. So check that by typing npm-v. It should output the version of Node that you have installed. Any number should probably be fine, but if you get an error, then you obviously made a mistake. So start this movie from the beginning. If you're on a Mac, there's a chance that your NPM install didn't work because of some weird stuff with Mac. I've heard that if you use Homebrew to install NPM, it can help. Now, when you're using Node, you install your dependencies with NPM install. Check this out. So whatever I put after NPM install, I'm just going to grab that package and download it for me and put it right in my folder. We're going to want to install Express. Express is a tool that turns your Node server, which is kind of like your computer, into something that's more like, I don't know if you know Winamp or just a, just a PHP server. It makes it into something like that. So let's install Express. And via the magic of the internet, it will be brought down to my computer instantaneously. Here inside my text editor, I don't see it because my text editor is automatically hiding my node modules folder. But if I open it up in my explorer, you can see here it is. If I open inside, you can see it's just taken Express and copied it into this directory. This is just the GitHub repository for Express that's been copied. We're going to use this in just a minute. Here I am back in my text editor. The next step is to create a main JavaScript file. Now, when you're making a Node.js application, it all comes down to this. You're going to have your one critical primary JavaScript file that's going to run to start your application off. As we know, JavaScript files in ES6 can require other JavaScript files. So you ultimately have access to unlimited files, but there's going to be one that starts everything off. So I'll make a new file and in the appropriate style, I'll call it main.js. Let's put a little message in here. Winter is coming. I hope so. It's a hot summer. The next step is we have to init our npm package. This will allow us to use the npm start command line shortcut. Terminal open. I'm going to type npm init and accept all the defaults so far. It should create a package JSON file in your folder. And if you'll note a couple of things, first express has been automatically added as a dependency. Now, when you're deploying your Node.js application, which is a discussion for a completely different video, it's going to use your dependencies to automatically download Express to whatever computer you decide to run it on that isn't yours. You're not actually going to upload Express to GitHub or whatever. That's just not going to happen. The second thing I want you to note is this scripts. Whatever is in scripts will run via special NPM command line. Now, you can't make up your own, but there's a few special ones you can use. So let's use start. I'm going to add a new one here for start. And my script's going to say node main.js. Now with node, in order to run a JavaScript file on your computer and do crazy stuff, you just have to say node, then the name of that JavaScript file. In fact, let's demonstrate. Pop open my terminal. I'll type node main.js. 
and it outputs the console log I was expecting. And if I type npm start, same thing, because it runs my script. 